Hey guys, so I'm going to show you an easy way to avoid having to hard code the Wi-Fi credentials for an ESP32 um, in the using the Arduino development environment, as well as how to use the file system to also load not only the Wi-Fi credentials but other variables like custom variables on setup. So you can do it with a computer or a cell phone. So I'll show you how it works and then what you need to get it working on your ESP32. So when I boot it up, it's going to say connect to this network with this password. So the ESP32 is in access point mode. Now, if you go over here to the networks, click on the network that you select, which is coded in. And now this is going to automatically pop up. It'll pop up on a computer or phone. And by default, it would actually force you to go to this IP address. And I'll show you later how you can add a few lines of code to make this automatically pop up. So go ahead and click configure Wi-Fi. It's going to list all the networks nearby and the signal strength. So I'm just going to select the one that I want to connect to. And these are just variables. So voltage, frequency, and duty cycle. Now you can add several different variables here. You know, if you're using an application that requires some kind of token to connect to, whether it's Bluetooth, because remember this is also Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So, you know, you can have a, several different settings and stuff like that. That way you don't have to hard code them in. You know, if for example, if you were shipping an actual product out on Tendi or something like that, you wouldn't have to set it up for each customer. So once you have everything filled out, you go ahead and click save. And it will attempt to connect to the network. And it says if it fails to reconnect, just connect to the access point again. And so you can see here it has already connected and it's displaying the three values that we put in the configuration as well as it's connected to the internet. And let's say you have the settings configured but you want to add a physical reset button on your device. You can uncomment these three lines. I'm going to upload this code. Um, it'll be a link in the description. But these three lines of code here, Wi-Fi disconnect true, that's going to erase the Wi-Fi credentials. The uh, SPIFFS is the file system that we're using to actually store the variables in the file system. So that's nice if you want to actually add a reset button. There's a lot of libraries you're going to need to get this working. And the main one, if you haven't done this yet, for ESP32, you want to download the ESP32 Arduino core and this this is on github I'll put the link in the description there is uh, instructions depending on if you're using Windows or Mac how to in install the core here now once you have the core installed we go to this Wi-Fi manager ESP32 and you want to install that and this one's pretty easy you can just you know download the zip file onto your computer and then you go to the go to sketch include library add zip library and then you're just basically going to click on that library that you just downloaded so and then after you do that you need to install the web server and the dns server libraries so you're just going to click on this and do the same exact thing now to have it automatically pop up like i showed you, you're going to have to uh, alter the Wi-Fi AP.CPP. So after you do uh, download all the libraries, you're going to just search your computer for this file here and make sure it's in the documents and not like a download folder, like after you've already installed it on the Arduino uh, development environment. Now you go to line 95. Now I'm not going to attach this line of code because this is going to be constantly updated on the GitHub. So, you know, I can put these three lines of code in the description, but um, basically, you know, the second the library updates, you're going to lose this. So, uh, you know, in this um, function here, we're going to add these three lines. So this is line 95. And these three lines will automatically 
force the pop-up on your computer or your phone. So you just want to open that in like a text editor and save it. So once you do that, you can uh, use this. I I'm using these OLED ESP32s. They have batteries with a little OLED display. So the code is going to work for these, but it'll work for any ES ESP32, but the OLED pins and stuff like that are going to be different depending on what you're using. So, you know, this for example, you know, or if you don't have a display, you could just delete everything that has to do with the SSD 1306. And so like even in the loop where I have it, you know, displaying the voltage and the settings and everything, you can just delete that if you want to use this for some other project. But you can still use this to kind of learn and see how the whole thing works. But basically, if you want to add your own custom uh, uh, parameters and variables other than just the Wi-Fi credentials, you can just follow the steps I use for the voltage frequency duty cycle. And if you want to, if you only want three variables, you can do a command F and let's say voltage, you want to replace all. Let's say in your case, it's like, you know, Bluetooth token or something like that. You can just replace all and then it's already done. So that way you don't have to go in and find it all. So luckily, you know, I've already done three of these. So you won't have to do too much work to get it to work for whatever you're planning on using it for. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys found that video helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know. See you guys. Mm -hmm.